Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to blur something in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we really have two different ways that we might want to blur something. The first being the entire image, and the second being in a specific object within the image. I'm gonna be going over both of those. The entire image is quick and fast, so that'll be first, and then we'll move into blurring the actual objects itself. First off, create a sequence, drag your footage in, and get it ready to add the blur to it. This is just a piece of stock footage I got off of Envato Marketplace. It's a place where you can essentially just pay a monthly subscription and get an unlimited amount of stock footage. Fantastic for so many different applications. If that sounds like something that might interest you, check out the link in the description below. So to blur this, let's go ahead and go into our video effects, blur and sharpen, and then look for something called camera blur, or you can use Gaussian blur, or you really can use any of the blurs in here. And what we wanna do with this is we just wanna take this camera blur, drag it on, and then go down to the camera blur. So you wanna go up to effect controls, so make sure you click on this, effect controls, down to camera blur, and you'll see that you have the ability to sort of just make it really, really blurry or not really blurry. You can also animate this. So let's say that we wanted to, for example, make it look like a camera was focusing and that's why it blurred. Well, all we have to do is go to the point that we want that to happen. Let's say right here, click on that animate button, then go maybe, I'm gonna hold down the shift key when I click this to go five at a time. So let's go five forward. And we're gonna blur it, let's say pretty extreme, like it's really trying to rack the focus. Then we're gonna go um, five forward again. I'm gonna bring it down to zero. We're gonna move five more forward. And then instead of that really extreme, maybe we'll bring it up to like seven and then we'll go 10 forward and bring it down to a zero. And this is just sort of a little animation path that I'm, I'm trying to create here to sort of create that image. And let's just see how that turned out. Yeah, it gives a sort of a good uh, idea of a camera racking focus right here. And so that's a very easy way to blur it. The second thing that we can do is we can actually blur a specific object. So let's go ahead and delete the camera blur out of there and go look for something called Gaussian blur or direction blur, either of those two will work. Uh, direction's more of gonna be, if you wanna like create highlight blurs or anything like that, I have a couple videos on that if you wanna check that out. But for Gaussian, we're gonna drag that in. Let's say that we want to disguise this, like maybe a news company filmed this for one of their stories, but they didn't get permission from this person to use their face, so they just wanna blur the face out for the clip. That is easy enough to do. We go into our Gaussian blur. We're gonna go ahead and increase it by just a little bit here, maybe up to uh, here or so. And then we're just gonna go and we're going to actually animate a path onto it. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can drag this onto the original footage or you can hold the Alt key, drag up, and then make a copy and put all of your effects on that one. It's, it's your choice on how you wanna do it. I'm gonna go with the original footage on this. I'm going to then click this circle button over here. You'll see that it creates a circle mask and then I'm going to take that and just drag it onto the face. Now, we need to go to where the face comes in. We don't wanna miss something. So let's keep going back, 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 right about here. So we'll drag this right off screen like so. And then now, to animate it, we're gonna go into the mask path. We're gonna move forward, and then you'll see that the mask falls out right here. So click on the mask to bring it back up. We're just gonna drag it back in front of the face. and. We essentially can do it like this. We can just hand animate it. We move forward a couple frames, we move this forward. If she comes closer, we make the circle bigger. If she goes farther, we make the circle smaller. And you can do this and it'll work out pretty good. It'll actually work out the best. That's the best way to do it, is to try to do this manually so that you can get a, the best track possible. Now, there is a better way or a faster way, I might say, to do this. And that is to have After Effects Act, or not After Effects, Premiere Pro to actually track for you. To do that, all you have to do is click this button right here to track one frame forward, and if you click play, it's gonna track all the frames. So if I click one forward, if you see, the mask is actually moving with her. It's using whatever is inside the mask, and it's trying to track it as it goes. Note, this is not the best thing in the world. If you have really like shaky camera footage and there's motion blur and stuff, you're gonna have to hand track it. But might as well give this a shot and see if it works out pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button on this. It's gonna take maybe four or five minutes to do it. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Okay, so that took about maybe three or four minutes. Let's see how good the track was. So we're gonna go ahead and move from where it went and start playing this back. Now you'll see that it does start to slowly slide over time. The front of her face comes out a little bit and then kind of goes back in. Overall, this is pretty good for just clicking the play button and not having to do anything. You'll see it actually keeps the track 
going pretty well overall. And so that's how you easily track it. Again, if this starts to slide off, you're gonna have to manually track it or maybe make adjustments where you do a piece at a time until you get the track done. You can do this for any object in here. If you wanted to, for example, create a mask over this, it's as simple as dragging it in there, creating another mask, and then drawing it right around there and animating that over time as well. Blurring something in Premiere Pro is easy to do. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I'm trying to make a video once every week uh, or once every other day. Thanks everyone for joining me. And until next time, guys, see ya.